It is a show of might as the clock ticks to the grand launch of the Jubilee Party. From the branded cars to workers doing the final touches of the multi-million eight-story building in Pangani, expected to host party officials from the newly branded Jubilee Party. It is an old systems go for the Uhuru Ruto coalition. The launch that we are preparing is going to be one of the greatest political events seen in this country, almost comparing to the excitement that we saw as we ushered in independence in 1963. We are ready now as Jubilee Party to go ahead with the plans that we have put in place. Jubilee Party is going to be born this weekend. For critics, this launch has since created public outcry over the fear of taxpayers' money being used to furnish the glitzy event. However, the National Steering Committee has rubbish claims maintaining that the money used was as a result of goodwill jubilee ambassadors. You know, people can say anything. They can even say I'm a woman. <laughs> and why become a woman? Because they have said so. Uh, no. The events, as you know, we receive political parties fund. Some of our parties get a substantial amount of money from that fund. And then this is one of the greatest parties in this country. It is the party whose party leader is the president, who has a lot of friends. The deputy party leader is also a very prominent person, he has a lot of friends. But we are also using a lot of contributions from friends. Further taking a swipe at the false list of interim officials doing rounds, Chair of the Committee Kirai Tumurungi reiterated that the unveiling of the party officials will be done by President Kenyatta and his deputy. That so far the party has only two officials. It has the interim party leader with the president and the deputy interim party leader who is the deputy president. There are no other officials. And the lists which we have seen circulating in the sections of the media are false, they are fake, they are fictitious. The two principals are expected to use a certain criteria in selecting these officials. For the parties that will now be folded into the merger, how they performed in the last general elections will give them a higher rating in the selection process. A sense of nationalism will also be expected in the chosen officials. And lastly, the constitutional requirements given focus on gender and persons with disabilities. Meanwhile, the final delegates list is already out and the expected delegates have started streaming in the city. For the yet-to-be-formed Jubilee Party, this launch is not only a signal to the start of the 2017 campaigns, but also has been hailed as the birth of a dawn of new politics in the country. This is a party of inclusivity, a party of togetherness, a party for the future, and a party representing one Kenya uh, without uh, jeopardizing the democratic space that is uh, in play in this country. So we would want to uh, ask everybody to join us uh, on Saturday. We want to invite everybody to join us on Saturday as we launch this historic party that is going to be a party for the future, a party that is going to deliver services to the people of Kenya. The Jubilee Party launch is expected to start tomorrow with the National Delegates Convention taking part in the dissolution of the 13 affiliate parties at the Bombers of Kenya and Kasarani Stadium. Dina Matengo, Ebru TV.